Hi everybody, it's Jenny from the Missouri Star Quilt Company and I am here with Teresa Coates from Shannon Fabrics and she is a cuddle expert. I, I try. Probably more ways than one, right? Yeah. You're a good cuddler? I think so. I think we should I have a little so. cuddle right now. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> anyway, we are going to talk about backs of quilts today. Yeah. It's yeah. probably one of my favorite things, especially, if, well, for any size quilt to put a cuddle on the back. Yes. Yeah, there's lots Every of uh, lots of awesome things, and my one of my favorites is how the design shows up when you quilt it. That is really like yeah. one of my favorite things. So there's two things that I love about a cuddle backing, and one is how soft it stays, mm -hmm. and the other is how the design just pops. That's right. Yeah, completely. All right, so let's talk about what we need if we're going to work with cuddle and sizes they come in and that sort of thing. So cuddle comes in. Um, two different sizes basically. So there's a 60 inch wide, which mm -hmm. is our normal cuddle three that you're gonna see all the flat stuff and some of the prints. Right. And then also the Lux cuddles come in that same size, but you can also get a cuddle three that is 90 inches wide. Mm -hmm. That's perfect for quilt backings for larger quilts. And there's also one that is 80 inches wide that's a Lux cuddle. So you do have some variability of 60, 80 or 90 inches wide to be able to figure out whichever size you're making for your quilt, it'll fit. Now cuddle is a polyester fabric, correct? It is, it's a um, microfiber plush 100% polyester. I just have to reach in here and touch it. You do. So yeah, you want to use cutting it the whole time. When you sew with it, you want to use. <laughs> that's right. We just keep cuddling it. Um, when you sew with it, you want to use a polyester thread. Polyester thread. Okay. Yep, so that's always. different for us quilters. Mm -hmm. Even for even as um, as on a quilt, you're going to use polyester yep. thread. Okay. Yep. When you're quilting it, and you then uh, and then you want a special needle. Yep. So when you're when you're piecing it, or if you were sewing it on your uh, domestic machine, you would want to use the uh, stretch needle for that. Oh, okay. Yeah. So you can use. Is there only at the stretch? Or are there other kinds of needles we can use? Well, you shouldn't use a universal unless you absolutely have to. Okay. But really, the ball points, the jersey, the stretch needles are all pretty interchangeable. Okay. I think yeah. a lot of times when you get a sewing machine too, they come with like a variety. They pack. do. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah. you know, so so that's what you would use any polyester right. fabric. You would right. use that stretch. Exactly, um, and especially because it's for. a knit, yeah. we want to make sure that we're using the right needle for okay. it. Okay, that makes sense. Yeah. I, I rarely change my needle on my sewing machine yeah. unless it breaks, and so, <laughs> which I know that nobody wants to hear that, but uh, you know, but I would, I would probably, it'd probably be best. You, you and the reason to. is you yeah. don't want to pierce or cut the thread, exactly. you want it to slide in you between You want it to slide fibers. in between, and that's okay. what exactly what will happen with the jersey, the ballpoint, or the stretch. All right, that yeah. is awesome. Yeah. So I think we should look at some cuddle backs. What do you Let's think? Do it. All right. Yeah. So we've got this little quilt here. Oh wait, we never talked about cutting oh. it. We need to talk about cutting it. We should it. talk about cutting back it. Back down, okay. right, back down, Sorry. there we go. All right, so you're gonna have to cut your cuddle and it can be um, a little furry. A little messy, yeah. yeah, it can be. So one, you can get the two yard cuts, which right. we've talked about, like those are great so for quilt So I love the backs. two yard cuts, honestly. Yeah. I, um, I had a bunch of them and literally I sewed my ends and my sides, the sides, the side with the selvage doesn't mm -hmm. stretch. There right. is a stretch. There in is cuddle. a stretch. Yep, widthwise is stretchy. Yes, and uh, and so you have to be careful about how you mm -hmm. put that on a quilt. But literally, I just love sewing those together yeah. so much. Yeah, the two yard cuts are great, and yeah. they do work really, really well. And for it's like quilt almost back. like a weighted blanket. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, I love it. And it, yeah. it and you can use any any types of cuddles. Totally. So there's, there's there's all kinds of colors and all kinds of. Sizes hundreds of thickness, and hundreds. Yep. and I think we carry most of those here at Missouri Star. I think so. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. I love that we do. I'm glad right. you do. So yeah, cutting it with those little mm -hmm. scissors, the Karen K. Buckley's are my favorite for cutting it. Um, you just kind of slide it, just cut the backing is what you're doing. Right. It's just cutting the backing. You can cut it with a rotary cutter, just hit it with here, the backing first. Grab that first. piece right there and let's look at how that looks because what we, what we really want to do is, if you cut it with a rotary cutter, you're literally cutting all the fluff off mm -hmm. and, um, and you'll have a lot of uh you'll you'll look yeah you'll be covered you'll be that. covered uh, yeah. yeah you'll be covered so, so i'm just going to cut just a little section over here because i want to show you something later you, yeah but let me just show you just a little bit so we're just going to slide it right underneath so I would see if maybe from if you do it from the end right here okay so that because really you're just sliding it in it there just and missing underneath. the fibers yep and then you're just you can actually see the little yeah. blade you right don't underneath have to there. have to cut it but we're just showing them okay because well, i know this is for something else it is <laughs> All right. We're just going to slide it under there yeah. and cut it. Um, and the other thing is you could, like I said, you can cut it with a rotary cutter. Just have a vacuum ready. Yeah. So I actually heard that. You could use like um, um, people use an indoor, uh, what, no, what are those called? Um, a little hand vac. That's what I do. A little okay. hand vac. And just run it along where you yep. cut it? Yep. That's a great idea. That's great. Yeah. Because I imagine with the amount of cuddle that you cut, you would be like knee deep before yes. too long. Yes. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right, so let's look at some backs. We have this okay. great quilt hanging behind us, and this is one Misty made on At Home with Misty, and it is backed in cuddle, 
And the name of this quilt, let me check for sure, is it's called Summer Sky. So this is the Summer Sky pattern. And then on the back, we have a quilted it with, with um, Cuddle. Yeah. And we use the champagne bubbles um, quilting thing. And look how it shows up. It's so beautiful. And this is the berry color. Mm -hmm. It's just gorgeous. And honestly, I love to bind with on you know on a cuddle quilt mm -hmm. because you're new, it's just like yeah. binding through butter it's, it's just so butter. beautiful so i want to i want to point out that this one is uh stitched together so this is something you can do if your quilt is larger mm -hmm. and the quilt the color is only in the c390 the cuddle or the c360 so the 60 inches you can actually so if it's 60 inches wide you can piece it together and have a much larger backing yeah now, if that color is not available in the li larger ones and you and i are both clothing sewers so yes. we know about the nap yes and the the nap is something you don't really know as a quilter, but yeah. it's it means that your fabric is going to lay one way mm -hmm. if you brush it this way, and it's going to lay the other way if you brush it this way. So you, when exactly. you put them together, you want your nap to be the same. Yes, which is and very important. Yeah. Otherwise, yeah. otherwise you'll actually. It, so softness, it won't matter. No, no, but, but it'll kind of look like two different colors. It'll look like two different colors. Yeah, yeah I think yeah. that's really fascinating. Yeah. So, so you want to make sure about that. But yeah, you can you can quilt it with any of it. We have an awesome little baby quilt right mm -hmm. here. And this one is called Starlet, and it's uh, there is a tutorial on both of these, and it's just this is fun because it's made with flannel, and cotton, mm -hmm. and and cuddle on the back. Yep. Here we go. So here's our back, and this little um, this little quilting pattern is called Cotton Candy, and look how darling it looks. Almost looks like shamrocks on here. It kind the, of does. With yeah, the with the green. Look. But I love mm -hmm. how it it shows up the pattern. It just so shows well. up. There's so many times where I'm like. I just want this on my bed. Yeah. Which, of course, you can do. You can. You can yeah. get two pieces of cuddle and make yourself a lovely That's exactly spread. what I did there. So yep. this, this yep. color is called opal, mm -hmm. uh, and it is, um, it's just beautiful. And this it's is just really the, the cuddle three, the regular 60 yeah. inches wide, which works great for throws or baby size quilts. Right. Yeah. Okay, so you have one over there I that do. is cuddle on both sides. It is. It's just cuddle. So it's cuddle, uh, the cuddle three, the smooth stuff on so one side. So if you got the two-yard cut, that. You could get, you know, this is yes. what you'd get. So because this is just hide, which mm -hmm. we have two yard cuts of, I know, and then it's just a C three on the front, so we can kind of hold this up and then do a little show and tell. So this is the smooth side, which you can see the the quilting, Look at that quilting so well. Pattern. That's adorable. What I love is that if I turn it this way, it kind of disappears and just becomes textural. It does. It does become textural. You can still see the quilting pattern, mm -hmm. and that's fun. But it's just, it's just gorgeous how it quilts up. And there's yeah. no batting in here. Nope, no batting. Just the two together. Yep. And then you've also bound it. Mm -hmm. And I bound cuddle. it with the cuddle. I love yeah. that. Yep. And it's I gorgeous. love it. So when we're quilting, when we're quilting and using cotton on the front, I always recommend that you use a batting inside of it. Yes. I think it just holds better. It hangs better. It all does, of that good stuff. For sure. But for if you're sure. putting two layers of cuddle together, there's no reason for the batting, and it makes it just the perfect. Fit. Right. Right. I really love this. All one. right. So let's talk about how you finish these. You know how you mm -hmm. put the you know, the binding on these. Right, we so that some... one I just used a, a Cuddle 3 binding. So mm -hmm. I just so used the So what does the Cuddle 3 mean? Cuddle 3 is referring it to It sounds the, very technical. It does, doesn't it? <laughs> it does. So there's Cuddle, and then there's Cuddle 3, and we just refer to that, that's the flatter stuff, so the smooth stuff. Okay, the stuff so, the, so, the, 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 so the, the stuff that isn't, not this, this is right. Lux. Right, this one here is is just a, a cuddle okay. three or so a C3, a three. sometimes I'll call okay. it. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. And that's what it means. The nap is three millimeters. Now, I've also heard this referred to as minky. Yes. And it can so. be a little bit confusing. Mm -hmm. It is minky fabric. So minky is just a type of fabric, like oh, denim okay. or canvas. Okay. So it is a minky fabric, M-I-N-K-Y. And then cuddle is just our brand name for it. And then there are, um, there are probably, you know, better fabrics and... This is For like sure. the Cadillac. This is cuddle. Cuddle, yeah. cuddle is the Cadillac. It so is. It is the best I, quality. I just think out there. there is nothing softer in the, in the oh, whole it's world. It's so wonderful. It's so great. Yeah. All right. So you have some little uh, little pieces of quilts here where you're showing different types of binding. I did. Mm -hmm. And I do love this. And I want to look at this right here because this has the Lux on the yes. back, which we have put on. I love how she says it. Yes. Yes. She can feel the softness. It's so good, right? <laughs> yes. And so, so I do know that sometimes when we quilt with mm -hmm. Lux, 
it tends to want to poke through. Yes. Yeah. yeah. And it totally will. And it's just because it's a longer nap. I mean, it's going to yeah. come back up through. So that's so normal. That's normal. Okay. There's a couple of ways that you can kind of combat it. So when I was doing this sample, I was trying some different things to see if using a different needle would help. Mm -hmm. It didn't. Mm -hmm. But what I do notice is you'll see that it happens a little bit on here. On the white, you'll see it. Yeah. But you won't see it at all on the color. Yeah, so not using at all. So using a, a background that is not white, like right. a, a print okay. background or a um, so neutral background. So if you know ahead of time you're going to put this on the back, right. then, then, then you could use a different background yeah. color. The same thing is true here, is that you can actually just use the thread to match the backing. So that's what I did here, and even though it might have come yeah, up just a little, you all. can't see mm -hmm. it at all. No. So for me, it's kind of a matter of trying to figure out, okay, how do I hide? Yeah. <laughs> the little, like, mistakes, yeah, the things takes, that I don't love. Yeah, it takes love. a little bit of thought process mm -hmm. in there to do that. All right, so let's talk about some of these finishes, because you've got regular bind. Look at this. Does Isn't this wash bring? out? Do the sparkles no. wash out? No, no it's beautiful. <gasps> it yeah. stays sparkly, glittery? It stays sparkly and it's <gasps> awesome. I love the way it catches the light. Oh my gosh. So good. All my, so good. All my 13 year old teenage vibes just came out right now. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's perfect. So you, what you've, so just, t just walk me through these. These are your samples. Yeah. So, so, I don't wanna... so this is one that I did with just a cotton binding. So mm -hmm. I cut it two and a half inches on the right. bias, sewed it to the back, brought it around to the front, and then just top. And is that it down. generally the way you would do a cuddle? Put it on the back and bring it to the front. I do. And okay. there's a couple of reasons for that. And one is that I can stitch it down by machine mm -hmm. pretty easily, and I can see it. And it's you can see on the back, it just hides right. in here if it doesn't sure match does. perfectly. Yeah. And then I can also actually hand stitch this to the cotton front if I wanted to. Oh, okay. So if I wanted to hide it, I could and just hand stitch that down so it doesn't have to be machine bound. Okay. That which I like sense. a lot. Um, and then this one is one that I bound two ways. So I bound it with the Lux Cuddle, and this is Lux Cuddle Weave. That looks so fun. Isn't it nice? So I, it's I, my on favorite. this, now <laughs> if, in quilting batting, mostly what you do is you do a two and a half inch or a two and a quarter inch strip. Yes. And it's a double fold. So yes. you don't double fold these. No, it's just okay. one and three quarter inches is what it is. And okay. then you use a half inch seam allowance, sew it to the back, bring it around to the front. And then this is actually a raw edge. Oh, you don't turn it under. You don't turn it under at all. You just lay it out here and just and you just, just zigzag, zigzag it, it down. <gasps> that looks beautiful. Pretty I love the right? look of that. It's this is very... my favorite. I really do. I love the Lux Cuddle Weave for the for the bindings. I think it's just really pretty. It's very nice and textural and hides the stitches beautifully. Oh my gosh, and babies love those textures. Mm -hmm. And this is just the the C3, as That's you call it, the plaid Exactly, and then I, on this one, I was just trying some different stitches, and I did it in green so you can kind of see the stitches better. So actually, one of, one of my favorite things about this, knowing that you did it in green, is you can barely see the yes. thread. Like, yeah. <laughs> I've sewn cuddle together using whatever thread was on my machine, and nobody yeah. knows. Right, exactly. You can hide it, so and generally I use gray. pink on the back. Mm -hmm. Look how well that quilts up, too. Yeah, really Now, beautiful. you use your walking foot when you quilt, correct? I did. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yep, I use my walking foot mostly all the time when I'm working with cuddle. Yeah, yeah. It probably never yeah. comes off your machine. It really doesn't. It really yeah, doesn't. no, <laughs> it doesn't. All no. right, so this one is interesting to me. Mm -hmm. So let's talk about this guy right here. So this one is a self-binding one, and I know that you've talked about self-binding a quilt before. Uh -huh. So this is just with cuddle on the back, and I quilted it with the with the cuddle on the the Lux cuddle. Mm -hmm. So this is the Galaxy in Mallard. It, that's super it's pretty. It's so beautiful. Look how pretty that is. And I like it because it has all this kind of mix of color so it doesn't actually have to match match it's close enough so then which I love what I want to ask about being a quilter mm -hmm. is um, do you leave this is your little batting right here do yep. you leave it a certain size bigger yes so I want to do a one inch binding is what this is and okay. I decided that from the beginning one inch is kind of the easiest so I stick with that and then I want to mark my where my my seam allowance would be mm -hmm. so with this one it's a little bit bigger so I can make my points match okay my, <laughs> it wasn't a perfect quarter inch but that's what I do is I mark where I want it to end and then I mark one inch from that line and that's where I cut my batting Oh, okay. One and inch from this line. And then one inch further is where I cut the fabric. Okay. And so then you just pull this to the line. Yep. So this is fascinating to me because, yeah. you know, in the old days when we learned to quilt, I learned to quilt in the 90s. You, I think you did too, yep. correct? Yep. We, a lot of times, would, we didn't do the binding. We wrapped no, just our bring it around. fabric yep. around to the front. And so it's fascinating mm -hmm. that we're that this looks so perfect and we're yeah. doing that. Yeah, it's super easy. And so this is just zigzagged down here. It's just zigzagged, yeah. All right, so you do have a mitered corner here. Do you want to show do. us how to do that? And it's kind of a perfect mitered it's corner. It's perfect. Yeah, totally I love is. I love this technique. So let me have the ruler and the okay. marker and I'll show you what I do. All right. So it's really, you guys are really gonna learn simple. A mitered corner. You're gonna love this. Okay, so this is, this, I will say that this is the easiest way to do it with cuddle, but it doesn't necessarily work with cotton. You've got okay. the ways to work with cotton, but with cuddle, this works perfectly. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna mark one inch. Hold that back for okay. me. Okay, I'm gonna mark one inch there. There you go. 
I'm gonna do the same thing here. And one inch from the edge of the cuddle? From the edge of the cuddle, okay. that's what I'm marking. Which should be basically where my batting lands, yes. right? So I wanna do that, and then I'm gonna go ahead and I need to mark because a 45. Because the batting is also one inch from the line. Exactly. Okay. So then I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna mark my 45, which I know if I follow this line out, it should hit the corner. Okay. So then I'm gonna draw that line. That becomes my stitching line. And this is the really important part because people often wanna cut it there. Mm -hmm. It's not where you cut it, don't cut it yet. Don't okay? cut it yet. We're just going to mark it, okay. and then I'm going to pin it and sew it. So let me show you how that works. So we're gonna fold it right sides together, create this little corner up here. Mm -hmm. And then because I do love my pins, <laughs> I'm actually gonna use two of them for this little bitty seam. And I'm gonna put one on either side of well, cuddle my is a bit line. more slippery, it's and so you slippery. you want to you you know you want to make sure that you are the boss of it. Exactly. <laughs> yes, you are the boss. You got to tell it what to do. So what I do is I put a pin on either side, and this is my stitching line, and I want to start sewing from the raw edge uh -huh. to the fold. And that okay. way, if it does slip on me, it's to the ward the fold, it's and it's not going to make a That's difference perfect. because this corner here becomes this corner here. So okay. they need to match. Okay. So I'm gonna go ahead and sew that. All right. Let's do that. All right. All right, so I've got it set at a 3.5 stitch length. We're just gonna do a straight seam. So I'm gonna go backward just so I can secure that seam because this is gonna so get... So do a little back stitch, back and forward, you know, yep. a couple of stitches either way. Exactly, and then I'm just gonna stitch right across on that little line that I drew. Do another little back stitch and take it out. Take my, take my pins out and now I've got this little seam right here. I can go ahead and... You can... Oh, you're going to check it. I'm going to check it. I was going to say, don't cut it before you check it. Check I've it. learned that lesson. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> so we're going to go ahead and flip Look it. Look how cool that is. It worked out great. So now I'm going to cut that bulk okay. off because it is a little, right. a little extra bulky in there. And I cut it at about half inch seam allowance, mm -hmm. maybe a little less. And then I go ahead and flip that, poke it out. Push your batting into the corner. Yep, push the batting up into the corner, the fabric. Pull that just a little. And then I'm going to go ahead and I would... Look Lose how my darling pins. this is. And so you're just going to pin these now. So then I would just pin this down. Mm -hmm. And I, what I'm going to do is I'm going to look and make sure that it matches that line that I drew. Because I know that's where I want my seam allowance to be. Now, I tend to be one of those quilters that like rushes to the finish line. Yes. And you really, with, with Cuddle, you want to just take, a t take your time. Take your time. Um, mm -hmm. Because it probably isn't very fun to pick out. It isn't. <laughs> no. No. So you want to take your time. And go ahead and use the pins. Go ahead and make sure that you're... Yeah. You know, that it's all lined up and where you yeah. want it and take yeah. the time. That yeah, take suggest. the time because I always like to, I always tell people like pin now because unstitching later yeah. is really unfun. It's not un so. it's un unfun. I like yeah. that. Yeah. So take your time. Make sure that it, it's then where you want it to be. And then she literally has just zigzagged around All the this, way around. Which is what she'll do. Yep. That yep. is so cool. I can go ahead. I will show you how to do it. So you can actually do it with like a serpentine stitch if you've got that on your machine. Mm -hmm. But I really prefer the zigzag just because it's super fast and easy. Yeah. So quick. <laughs> so as much as you have to take your time too, right? you can also, you know, do the quick and easy approach, which is just a zigzag. I do love that. So she's going to zigzag some of this now. Yep. So I'm going to change my stitch to a zigzag. And I'm going to go ahead and make my zigzag bigger. So I'm going to do a three and a half, four, whatever you'd like to do. Okay, we're going to go ahead and stitch this. Can I have my stiletto? Oh, yes, you can. I love that little thing. And what it does is it helps me hold the fabric where I want it to be. I can kind of take the pin out and just hold it there. And then I'm just going to zigzag right along that edge. I'm going to make sure that it's the needle is coming down just on the left of it. And I'll just plod right along. And usually what I do is I do one side at a time. Depending on how big the quilt is. I just love it. And you've got, you're almost to that little mitered corner, which is just the perfect little. It's a perfect mitered corner. Perfect little corner. And so easy to do and kind of foolproof, truthfully. So I'm going to I don't here. know, I've cut a few of those off that I've had to go, ooh. <laughs> I've actually sewn a piece back on one time. Which Did is, you really? Which is also interesting because it really doesn't show because the cuddle right. is so forgiving. <laughs> right, exactly. It's so forgiving. So I'm just going to go ahead. So I just pivot. Turn it the corner there and then just keep on going. Just work my way all the way around. So you're just going to do that all the way. I'm going to leave one little spot open so I can show it off later. Okay, that we'll go is ahead. great. 
you take that out and then you can see it's going to come right along this line and I can go ahead and I can just go ahead and fluff it all up. Fluff it, it hides up. all those little stitches. Let me get this little thread. As you can see, this is what we were talking about choosing a thread and a lot of times I will pick a medium gray just mm -hmm. like this because it will kind of blend into everything. In. That is it awesome. It just hides. All right, now say, say, because mm -hmm. uh, I quilt with a credit card. Yes. You know, yeah. I send my quilts yeah. in to be quilted <laughs> yep. and I love the way the quilt thing looks on them. Me but too. But say you want to do it at home. You want to try it on your own home machine. Yeah. And so we have one that has been um, kind of laid and put together here. Yep. Um, we've used this dimple on the back. Mm -hmm. And uh, so the steps we'd have to go through to get it ready to quilt. Let's look at this. All right. So this is our same quilt that we showed you earlier, the little baby quilt, but right. now we've got this graphite um, dimple yep, on the back. Yep, this dimple. And the, uh, the, the pattern will still show up in this. Yes. Yeah, it does, um, it does kind of, they play with each other differently. Yes, It won't show do. up quite the same because mm -hmm. you end up having kind of the two different designs, but it does work does work just fine with so, the cuddle dimple. So then how do, you, how do you ready a quilt if you're going to do this on a home machine? So you're going to make your quilt top just like you would right. normally. You're going to press that really well. Then mm -hmm. what I do is I start with the backing and I put my batting onto that. Okay. And I think we have a little, we have we a little have one this, we can. We have this temporary adhesive. Yep. So we use the temporary adhesive. We can actually show with a little sample. I'll show you how to put the whole thing let's together. Not, let's, not, let's not do that on that. Just let's, in no, case. No, that's what we have this case. big white thing for. Right. Let's cover up our spray. So I like to use the OD505 okay. spray. I like it a lot because it doesn't smell and it doesn't um, doesn't get really sticky stuff on other things. Like, oh, okay. So it doesn't stay sticky. It's not going to ruin your needle. That's a question I get a lot. It's going to oh, okay. make your needle sticky. Nice. It isn't. It's great. It doesn't smell and it washes out. So when you're done, the sticky is gone. Oh, that's All great. Right? So if this were my quilt, I've got the backing. One of the things I'm going to do is I'm going to check the nap. So the selvage is here. So I know that the nap is going to run along the selvage. Mm -hmm. So I can pet it and pet it. Yeah. And I can see, okay, this is the way my nap goes. So I'm going to switch this around. And this is just my personal is that I always put the top at the top and I can, oh, okay. I can keep track of it. So the top of my quilt is up well, here. And those mantras are good because otherwise you're it's like, It's easy Ooh. to get it confused. Yeah. yeah. And then in the end, your, your nap is upside down, which is really not going to matter anyway, no. but you know, best but it, practices. Yeah. <laughs> so then what I do is, and you would do this on a space that is large enough for your quilt. So mm -hmm. like this baby quilt, you would want to have a table this big. Mm -hmm. If you want to do it on a large, um, like an 80 inch wide, if you're going to do it on your home machine, you want to get like pop-up tables and do sure. it out, you know, big. You know what I do, which is interesting, is I tape, I have, the, I know the middle of my table mm -hmm. and I tape a quarter on there. Uh huh. And then every time I fold this, I put it this right on the quarter because oh, I can feel that lift right. a little bit and so then it's always centered on everything. Well isn't that clever? And, and it's because I didn't have you know big floor space right. or you know whatever yeah. but but That's I can do it. That's a great technique yeah. because it would it just the, this tiniest little feel. Yeah and it just keeps it right there in the That's center. That's awesome. Everything. So you lay out your whole backing you're going to lay your batting on here which should be a little bit smaller and then what I do is I just spray this on here and I'm going to stick it down. And I'm going to do a little pat, pat, pat. And I always do it in half. So even though this is small enough, I could do it at one fell swoop. Mm -hmm. I do it in half so that it stays where I want it to be. As soon as right. I pick the whole thing up and spray it, I don't know where I'm putting it down That's again. Right. So I do this. And the pat, pat, pat is actually kind of important. It won't stick as well until you pat, pat, pat. Pat, pat, pat. All right. <laughs> and then you're going to do the same thing. You're going to put your quilt block out or your quilt top out. You're going to make sure that it's nice and pressed. I just have to say, this is probably one of the most boring quilts I've ever it seen. It is the most boring quilt ever. <laughs> but wait until we long arm but it. But wait until we long arm it, right? <laughs> <laughs> so I do the same thing. Just put a little bit of spray based on there. And wait. A little harder. There you go. Yeah. There we go. Get out some of those like frustrations. Like the drummer. The drummer. Yeah. <laughs> so we're going to spray it again. There you go. Okay. Try the whole thing this time. Pat, pat, pat. There you go. Now, if you lay this whole thing. I'm getting in a groove. I'm getting in a groove. <laughs> go ahead. <laughs> Sorry. If you're going to do a big quilt like this, it's really easy to kind of get a wrinkle in it. Uh -huh. So one of the things that's cool about this stuff is that you can actually just kind of lift it up, separate it, put it back down, pat it, and it's back there. That is actually nice. very cool. Okay. So very that's forgiving. actually really helpful mm -hmm. is that the spray based, it, it isn't permanent. When you stick it down, it's not going to stay there forever. So knowing that like if I get a wrinkle, I just pull it back up right. and spread it back So out. obviously we can't fit this quilt under our throat over here not, not so but much. um you could do a little quilt on there totally and um and if you, you know if you just have you have to look at so 
Well, let me let me just back up and ask mm -hmm. you this: When you home quilt it, do you start from one side and go to the other? Do you start in the middle? And I work start your in the middle and work okay. my way out. Yeah, right. that's exactly right. And generally, what I what I'll do is I'll start here and then I kind of quarter it and, and then, then go you, in between. And then do you like roll this part up so that it can go under the under yep. the throat? Okay. Yeah, that's what I did. Everybody all the, all does the it different, samples. you know. So mm -hmm. I just wanted to find out, you know, because sometimes you learn these amazing tricks from. Yeah. You just yeah. never even thought of it. I love the jumbo wonder clips for holding that. I'll like roll it up and then I kind of clip oh, it. Oh, very cool. And those cool. work really well. That's so, very nice. Yeah, it's it's easy enough to do smaller quilts mm -hmm. on your domestic machine, but honestly, I quilt by credit card too. There we go. All right, so now that we know how to do this and we can actually transfer that to a bigger quilt, are yes. there any other little tips that you have that might help us? You really just want to take your time with it, yeah. enjoy the process of making use this. A walking I think we covered everything. Yep, wa use a walking foot polyester thread. It really is, it's just such a lovely finish to It is a, just an amazing finish. So when you get it all done, how washable is this? Totally washable. You can just throw it in the washer throw and dryer. Throw it in the washer and dryer. Make no sure stress. that you're using a low heat for it. So that's the only thing is the high heat can sort of damage it because it's polyester or fabric. Well, sure. Yeah. So use a lower heat dryer, but otherwise absolutely washable, dryable, all of that good stuff. I love that. Yeah. I love that, especially for baby quilts because mm -hmm. they get used a lot, yeah. you know, and you want to be able to throw them in the washer yep, and the dryer. Exactly. Well, that's awesome. It's been a pleasure having you Thank here today. You. I hope this takes away some of your fear on using mm -hmm. Cuddle on the back because yeah. it is an amazing backing for it quilts. It is so lovely. And so much easier than we think. You know, yes. it, it, it there's a little bit of a fear factor to mm -hmm. it. But, you know, be bold. Go for That's it. That's right. You be know? brave. Just do it. Yeah. Because you're going to love the results. You are going to love yeah. the results. Yeah. And so, anyway, thanks for being with us today. Absolutely. And we hope you enjoyed this tutorial on putting cuddle on the back of a quilt from the Missouri Star Quilt Company. Hi, everybody. It's Jenny from the Missouri Star Quilt Company. We hope you enjoyed watching this video. If you aren't already part of the Missouri Star Quilt Company family, be sure to subscribe so you won't miss a thing. And if you click that bell, it'll notify you every time a new tutorial comes out. See you next Friday.